Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Scorpio their weekly love read. Scorpio, this is your love read for the week of January 16th through the 22nd. Um, just a brief side note, uh, the, the readings are actually timeless, so whenever you see the read is when it's meant for you. Um, if you feel like this is not your read, feel free to check your moon or your rising signs. Um, if you don't know what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below. Uh, to get you to that web page to get your birth chart information. There's also a link in the description box below to get you to my personal page. I don't even know what I just said to be truly honest, you guys. Um, we're doing you, them, and the connection. So we're going to get some uh, information about you, them, and the connection. We're also going to get some message cards and some oracle cards to kind of pull your read together. Well, guys, um, uh, I was going to tell you too, I was pre-shuffling in the deck and there was uh the five of wands that came out uh twice when i was pre-shuffling it kind of flew out of the deck i put it back and it came back out again um so this is kind of a, a very anxious i'm gonna see if i can find it a very anxious kind of defeated energy like someone i don't want to mess up the order if i can't find it real quick i'm gonna not worry about it but someone kind of feeling defeated feeling like um they lost everything kind of energy um, and it came out twice. So I just want to make a side note for that in case you were kind of going through a time with some anxiety, some unknown, where you feel kind of defeated. Um, I feel like that's coming to an end for you, but I feel like I needed to let you know that. And if I say I feel like one more time, I'm going to kick myself. Here it is. Um, so this came out twice, guys. So this very defeated, like anxious energy um, came out twice during your pre-shuffle. It didn't come out again, so that's good news. But I just want you to know that that is uh, probably a passing feeling if that's what you're currently going through. Okay. <laughs> All right. So bottom of the deck energy is great energy, you guys. The King of Pentacles is someone who is very grounded, very stable, very loyal, very committed. They're a caretaker. They're a provider. They want to provide emotionally. They want to provide financially. Um, this is someone who works hard to give um, others what they need and what they, they want. It's like um, a very nurturing and caretaking kind of person. But they, they kind of... Um, have a lot of a pull or want to provide They're like this their goal is to provide for their person so this is showing up as the bottom of the energy deck but to me this is committed grounded loyal energy right caretaking energy we also have the three of cups on the bottom of the deck so this to me is like uh, true love along with a friendship so it's not just a friendship or just a love situation it's a very uh, um, it's a soul connection it could potentially be a reconciliation with somebody but it's definitely a soul connection in which your souls recognize one another whether it's in this lifetime or a previous lifetime um, I feel like this is a very true um, true love situation very stable very grounded very loyal kind of situation that's coming towards you all right Scorpio so you guys are showing up <laughs> It's kind of interesting um, as the nine of pentacles, the moon and the six of cups. So I feel like the nine of pentacles, if we start here, um, this is an energy of being really focused on finances. So I feel like an instability and a singular energy. So I feel like um, this is a singular energy. So you're really focused on your finances. You're really focused on um, what you need to do to be stable, what you need to be doing to kind of be consistent, to be emotionally stable, to be financially stable. And you're really kind of just focused on yourself. Uh, lots of positive energy, grounded energy, um, committed energy, but definitely working on your pentacles. Um, the moon card being here uh, is a little interesting because I feel like things are coming to light for you. I think that things are being revealed to you. Um, usually this is like secrets coming to light, but since this is showing up as your energy, I feel like this is more like you connecting with your intuition. You might be having some dreams. You might be recognizing things, realizing things, putting things together intuitively or um, through, through like prayer or through like spiritual guidance. I feel like things are coming to light. You know what you're going to be doing. You know what you're interested in. You know what you want. Um, and, and things are being revealed to you as you move along in your journey. You're showing up as someone who is very um, compassionate. This is uh, the Six of Cups is 
uh, nostalgic kind of feeling. So I feel like according to your person and your energy, this is, you guys have a nostalgic kind of connection. This could also be a reunion card. So this is um, like a soul connection. You guys might have some good memories together. You don't have to be like knowing each other from like childhood, but you could know this person from childhood. This could be someone you went to college with. This could be someone you went to high school, elementary school with. This could be just someone you know. Um, it could be someone you work with. It could be someone that you have um, some kind of a nostalgic connection with. But um, I feel like you bring that energy to the connection for them and they bring that energy to the connection for you. But I feel like you're showing up as a very loving, caring kind of person. I think things are being revealed to you, but you're really focused on yourself. Your person is pretty freaking amazing, you guys. Um, your person showing up as your wish fulfillment with this Nine of Cups. This is emotional fulfillment. This is um, something that you wish for, someone that you wish for, someone who's very loving, someone who's very compassionate, someone that is willing to show you love and give you love and provide love. This person is showing up as the Ten of Pentacles. This is someone who is grounded, committed, loyal. This person is a, like a, a life partner. This person is showing up as the Ten of Pentacles energy, which is marriage if you want marriage uh, just long-term commitment stable grounded loyal com um caring uh like a caretaker kind of energy almost um if this is like blended family so if you guys have children that the households kind of can come together this is um a husband wife kids a dog a house right this is very much what you want in a love reading St stability um commitment loyalty long-term commitment marriage and this person is very smart. Um, showing up as the King of Swords, this person might be a little bit blunt or direct. This person will speak their mind. They're great communicating. They have a great sense of humor uh, and very intelligent. They also kind of like, don't, they kind of cut out the crap. Like they don't wanna, they might call you on your crap. Um, definitely a direct communicator, they cut out the nonsense. Your connection is really, interesting. I feel like this very much could be someone from your past, maybe someone you had a connection with previous. Um, you're showing up here, Scorpio. The death card is a Scorpio card, but this is like death and rebirth. So this could potentially be a uh, rebirth of a connection that you've already had with somebody, or this just could be like a rebirth to the parts of your life that you're, you're starting over with. Um, whether it's like getting into a new relationship or whatnot. But definitely there's a rebirth here of a situation that um, came to kind of like an end. So if you, it could be like you're dating someone you already dated before, like that ended and it restarted. It could be that you um, decided not to date and now you're starting to date. It could be lots of things. Anything that came to an end is restarting. But I feel like in this case, um, it's related to a love situation. So maybe you weren't worried about love while well, you're going to be falling in love again soon. Um, this person and this connection and your connection is showing up as the divine feminine. This is uh, a soulmate energy. This is the divine feminine. The divine feminine is abundant. So basically anything you give the divine feminine, she multiplies, right? So this situation, this connection between the two of you will multiply everything. It'll be more abundant for the both of you when you're together. So finances will be more abundant. Emotions will be more abundant. Fulfillment will be more abundant. Like I feel like everything's just going to get better when you're in this connection because the divine feminine is here. She's very nurturing. She's caring, compassionate. She's a provider. She's a caretaker. She's a protector. So I feel like um, everything that she is and represents will be how your relationship is. And then again, we have the Ace of Swords here, um, which is getting clarity on a situation, cutting out what no longer serves you and being aware, like knowing what you want, knowing how you want it, being able to communicate it, being able to express it. So this coming up in the connection, I think you both are gonna be able to do that. And it kind of reminds me of the Moon card, which traditionally they don't really have the same meaning, but like for you kind of figuring out what it is that you want, um, I feel like you guys are figuring out what you want in a relationship together as well. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, let's get some love and romance journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot for Scorpio. A sacred connection, absolutely, with it. Husband, mm -hmm. that's the Ten of Pentacles energy is what I was going to say before husband popped up. 
Holy freaking smokes. Twin flame. Bottom of the deck we have holding back. And romance and true love. Transformation again. That's kind of your card. Um, I feel like... I feel like you are kind of um, holding back at this point. Like I said, you're you're focused on your pentacles. You're focused on um, getting yourself grounded and stable. But um, this moon card is going to kind of come and bust things open for you. Things are going to come to light. Um, you're going to be made aware of situations. You're going to be more aware of what you're feeling and thinking. You guys, this is an amazing connection. We have twin flame connection. We have sacred connection. Holy freaking moly. And then we have husband. So you could either... Um, Find yourself husband or you could become someone's husband but this is definitely a very divinely guided connection like i said six of cups is a soul connection three of cups is a soul connection ten of pentacles is um not a soul connection but a, a long-term committed relationship nine of cups is a wish fulfillment the divine feminine is um um yeah like the the best thing that could be happening in a love read abundance compassion empathy um just a caretaker, provider, and nurturer. So this is an extremely sacred connection. I feel like this is going to be great for you. All right, let's get some cards from the Soul Reflections Love Oracle deck for Scorpio. Yes. So that kind of looks like a wedding, right? I think you're getting married, Scorpio. Argument. Are you hearing each other? Trust issues, date night. So divine protections on the bottom of the deck and happy ever after. So so perhaps this could be someone that you used to date, that you used to argue with, someone that had trust issues that could possibly be coming back around. Um, I don't really see any kind of conflict like that in, in your card. So I'm not exactly sure. So uh, trust issues and argument. I don't know. I don't know if that's you. I don't know if you're having trust issues. I don't know. Take it as resonates. You tell me, Scorpio. And then we have yes, and we have date night. All right, let's get the hermit. Ooh, son of a gun. Let's get the hermit uh, tarot channeled love messages. <laughs> Sorry. Crap. Well, all these cards want to fly out, apparently, Scorpio. So we're going to give you all these cards. Okay, so we have, interesting, we have my life started when I met you, we have another yes card, so I feel like there will be like a proposal, um, I hope you'll wait for me, please give me time, I've never felt this way before, and you are so very special, so um, I, yeah, I feel like this connection is going to be one like no other right um so i don't know so if you've been in that kind of a connection with a person where you feel like they're like no other it could be a return of that person um or it could be a new person you would know but you are so very special and yes i like these the both yellow which is interesting um we have a two you, you uh, my life started when i met you a three i hope you'll wait for me and a nine please give me time i've never felt this way before so I feel like, honestly, this is going to be your energy here. You're, you're going to want someone to wait for you because you've never felt that way before. And my life started when I met you. Maybe that's like the rebirth. Maybe your life is going to start over when you meet this person. Interesting. All right, guys. Let's get a couple of love vibe cards from the King of Aloha. I'm dating someone else right now. Bad timing. Yikes. <laughs> okay maybe that's your person you're interested in maybe that's you maybe that's someone that's interested in you um let me take the lead and come to you and let's just be friends platonic so this could be someone i'm trying to fix my life right now so this could be, like I said, you are working on your pentacles. You're showing up as that nine of pentacles energy. So maybe that's what you're doing is like fixing yourself, fixing your finances, fixing your life. And you don't want to move forward um, with anybody. You want to just be friends, um, platonic friends, because uh, that's what you're focused on. You're not focused on dating. Someone else might be dating someone else too. And let me take the lead and come to you. 
I do feel like though this moon card being here is going to, there's going to be a lot revealed to you. And if this doesn't make sense to you now, it may make sense to you in the near future. Power is your card. Number one. Hmm. I am number one from Nelly just popped in my head. All right. All right. Marie Laveau was the epitome of power and grace within the community of New Orleans. I'm not sure if I'm saying, saying her name right, but um, not only was she known as an astute businesswoman, but she was also a go-to person for spiritual remedies of everyday life. If you, if you have drawn this card, you've been called to embrace all aspects of yourself, to rise to every occasion with confidence. You are so much more than the mundane daily tasks that often bog you down. New opportunities will help you explore the different ways you can express yourself and feel more fulfilled. So that is the New Orleans Oracle deck for you, Scorpio Power number one. So we have, I think we have a one, two, and a three. We do one, two, three, and nine, and 21 for numbers. Um, anyways, guys, that's your read. I hope you enjoyed this read. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. And if you can make sense of any of this, put the comments below so I know. Um, I appreciate you watching, guys. Thank you so much. And until next time, take care.